So I was having a chat today with a friend of mine and uh, he's actually a friend and a client. And we were having a, a talk about the changes to YouTube and to creating content, being a content creator, getting views, impressions, push recommended, suggested by the YouTube algorithm, growing an audience, connecting with your audience, your avatar, and essentially, ultimately, monetizing this and making as much money as possible. And side note, if anybody wants to uh, build a YouTube channel for the primary purpose of making money, then stick around to the end of the video because I have something very, very important that you are not going to want to miss. And you're definitely going to want to hear what I have to tell you. Uh, today, I was actually, I've already created two videos today. This would be my third. I've already written multiple scripts, edited content, strategized, and uh, it is only, let's see what time it is. It is only uh, a little before 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I think I got up this morning roughly around 6.45 or 7. Honestly, I've been taking it a little bit slow today. We had uh, fire protection coming through to make sure that our sprinkler system was pressurized and there were no leaks. And uh, we were expecting drywall crews to show up today to make repairs to the holes in the, in the patches in the ceiling. Uh, so I was kind of taking it easy, not trying to get too tied up into any one task that I would essentially be disrupted by the workers. So I've been taking it kind of easy. Um, but this is part of the strategy. It's part of why it works so well when you stay consistent and you continuously invest. Okay. Remember time in the market is greater than timing the market. Interestingly enough, uh, I'm starting to see a, another pattern here and similar to the investment strategy of buying on the red days, buying on the down days, buying the dip. Uh, there, there is consistency in investing and building a, a compound interest off of not just, you know, certain stocks and ETFs or um, mutual funds or anything like that, or even cryptocurrency for that matter. But more importantly, investing in companies that you believe in. OK, and as you guys are well aware, I consider YouTube, I treat YouTube like a business. Therefore, it is a company and in my opinion, a company that I believe in. Not just YouTube and Alphabet and Google, but me personally, my channels, my brand, other channels that I work with or for. And when you invest in companies you believe in, it makes it all the better and easier. Um, hang on one second. Sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, I'm sitting here recording my video and then my phone pops up with a message and it's a uh, it's squirrel tribe. It's my wife, Michelle. And she goes, uh, I left my microphone in the car. Is it OK if I record without it? And yeah, it's OK to record without it. But uh, I was like, we have four or five other recording options in the, in the apartment. So uh, take your pick, take your choice. So ultimately, she's going to go the Blue Yeti route today. And uh, that'll that'll be an interesting change to her video delivery. But as I was saying, when you invest in companies that you trust and believe in, it makes the process all the easier and the better to stay the course, okay, and not get distracted or deterred and ultimately make you want to pull out and sell uh, or stop investing when you know you should continue to invest. Now, with that being said, uh, and I will, I will share with you guys as I said, if you want to know more about starting and growing YouTube channels to make money, there is a simple and easy process to do this. I can show you probably at least 20 different examples of channels that have just started who are all producing fantastic results, getting lots of views, getting, getting and having been monetized and making substantial amounts of money. Odds are they're probably making anywhere from 50 to to three to four, maybe $500 per day by posting one or two videos on their channel, 
probably under 15 minutes a piece, literally doing simple things similar to what we are doing right now, which is I am having a discussion and conversation with you all. So if you're interested and you want to know how you can do the same, uh, I can easily show you, I can easily give you examples. I can easily tell you. And uh, with that being said, consistency is the key. Uh, having a standard and scheduled process and upload schedule is going to help you accomplish these goals. And also it will allow you to take breaks. Now, this is something I'm seeing happening as the algorithm is changing and it's a, it's a plus. Okay. And I came across the think media video and the title was how to produce more videos faster or how to make videos faster, or more, you know, upload more videos or something like that. And inversely, my kid, she's telling me about Sam and Colby. I think it's Sam and Colby, like they're ghost hunters and things like that. And she was like, yeah, they don't really upload a lot throughout the year because they record a lot and they put together a lot of content and then they try to deliver it in a short period of time. So over a few days or a few weeks or maybe just a month or so, they'll upload a tremendous amount of content. And you're like, how in the world is this even possible? But it's because they were working on it all year versus working on it every single day. So this is what Ryan Trahan effectively described as redemptive work and going from working every single day to working maybe once or twice a week, building up this side hustle, passive income producing machine so that you don't have to work until you die. OK, but it requires that upfront and initial investment to get that going, to build that, to get that ball rolling. But with that upfront and initial investment, you have to be smart and strategic about how you go about it. So uh, with that being said, the conversation is key. Who you're talking to is very important. Your audience, your avatar, your demographic, your channel, your niche, all of these key terms. Uh, and yeah, there are courses out there that will give you the basics on how to create a YouTube video and upload it and do certain things. But these courses probably don't take into account the changes of today's environment, today's viewer, today's algorithm, which is rapidly changing and evolving. And uh, it's almost like a living and breathing organism, so to speak, for the simple fact that YouTube essentially describes it and Jimmy Donaldson himself describes it as the audience, the people. OK, but either way, um, on one of my other channels, I uh, have a target. I have a focus. I have a goal. I have an objective. I have a, uh, a core demographic and it's growing. It's building. It's amazing. And it's exactly what I want and what I wanted and what uh, my plans and goals and strategies were that I was preparing for. And what I did was I invested into this with my time, no money required whatsoever. So that's the other thing. If you want to do this, no money required whatsoever. Uh, and also the benefit and beauty of um, working remotely and working from anywhere, basically, as long as you have Internet connection, it's pretty much all you need. And if you don't just record and then upload when you get into range of service or have Wi-Fi or whatever it may be. So uh, the key is not to give up. OK, do not give up. But you also have to get started. You know, you don't have to be great to start, but you got to start to be great. And uh, essentially what I did was I invested um, into a company that I believed in. And this company is my channel, my YouTube channel. And I invested consistently. I invested wisely. I invested intelligently. And then I waited until it was time to invest again, until it was right. You don't, I don't want to just continuously throw resources out and get nothing in return, or at least I want to put my resources out there for them to, them to return the greatest return on these investments. And so it's funny because you can track the charts of pretty much any investment, really. And you can track the charts. And if you're investing something that you can't investing into something that doesn't have 
trackable metrics and charts, then odds are it's probably a scam and it's going to be a really great way to lose your money. So just put that out there. But either way, um, I was checking the charts and my initial investment went in and I saw a little bit of a return as I expected. And then it kind of like just leveled out. And so I continue to wait, I continue to wait. And as I expected and suspected, boom, it climbs. And now it's climbing. And it's also gaining traction in, in other areas that I had wanted to branch out into. And I'm gonna let it run its course. And more than likely, today is Tuesday, I believe. Uh, so uh, more than likely tomorrow, Wednesday, or Thursday, I will get ready to uh, prepare yet another video to reinvest into this. And this will in turn produce currently our fifth monetized channel. Five. Now, why do you have five? Why would you want five monetized channels? So I got this channel, I got, uh, yep, so this will be the fifth once this one gets monetized, this will be our fifth monetized channel. But I'll say this, the biggest difference here is that this channel is unlike any other channel that we have or had had in the past. Um, and uh, for those of you who were uh, watching us on a live stream podcast the other day, then you know the, uh, the promise that I made for 2024. And in order for us to execute on that, then we have to continuously work and put in the effort to be in a position to do that. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So um, the reason why I would want five is because of the same reason that I've been telling you guys since last year, since we've been having started these conversations on camera is diversity, security and cash flow. Well, if I can make one monetized channel produce, let's just say 50 to $500 a day, which is on the starting end, the low end, okay? I would say I'm not on the starting end, I would say I'm not on the low end. If I can make it produce 50 to $500 a day, okay, well, why not do that more than once? Okay, so now I have two monetized channels that can produce 100 to $1,000 a day. I got three that can produce $150 to $1,500 a day. I got four that can produce $200 to $2,000 or $2,000 a day. So if I have five, then essentially I can produce $250 to uh, $2,500 a day on the low end. But here's the real kicker, okay? The big one is diversity, okay? Having multiple monetized channels can eff effectively execute, like, just solidify and check the boxes for security and cash flow. That's a given. But the diversity is key, okay? And so the diversity ultimately allows me the ability to expand beyond the reach of the confines and limitations of this particular channel, this particular niche, this particular avatar, this particular audience, this particular mindset or viewer or whatever you want to classify it as. And it allows me the diversity to not only expand the conversation, but also to build greater relationships in business that will take me far further off the platform. So that's another reason why uh, we're even going down that route as well. So very pleased to see those uh, metrics today and I'm very happy to share these with uh, anyone who's interested in knowing more about the um, let's just put it as the best practices behind starting and growing YouTube channels. Now, this channel is a little bit of a hybrid of a disaster, basically. And uh, essentially, I've been working hard to change the audience, but I have to work even harder to continuously stay focused on changing the audience. So uh, if you look at this channel in comparison to the sub subscriber counts versus view counts, then like I said, it is a little bit of a disaster, but it's all uh, primarily for the purpose of testing and uh, A and B testing and research and data collection and essentially so that I can be better at helping others be better 
and also be better uh, at helping myself be better when I grow and start other channels. That's pretty much, that's pretty much what it boils down to. And uh, I always question whether or not I want to share this information because people would typically be very skeptical and be like, well, Kevin, if you know how to do this, why would you want to tell anybody your secret? And so one, I don't really want to tell you my secret. I would prefer uh, you hire me and I get paid for sharing my knowledge and my experience and my, uh, my wisdom and techniques and strategies with you so that you can make money too. Uh, this needs to be a mutually beneficial relationship for all parties involved. But it's just something that I really enjoy. So if I had my choice on what I would prefer to just sit down and talk to this camera here by myself about, well, it makes more sense for me to have that discussion and that chat and that conversation about something that interests me, about something I'm very passionate about, rather than just continuously uh, regurgitating the same nonsense and dribble that everybody else is. Um, but with that being said, I have seen ways of growing channels to a point of which you can do these certain things and make a lot of money doing it. So it's, you know, I guess that's why I don't mind because I'm not interested in going down that road, but I understand that that road exists. And if someone wants to go down that path, well, allow me to show you. Uh, the other thing is, is that being 100% honest and 100% transparent, very few people are going to take action. Uh, even less are going to stay committed and uh, consistent. And odds are, uh, more than likely, people would pay me and hire me for my services to hear what I have to say, never take action or never follow through completely to actually see a return on their investment. And therefore, I'm not I'm essentially not creating much competition, if any, for myself, because it's just a simple fact that most people are going to give up. They're going to they're going to quit before uh, they ever see any return. And I've also experienced multiple scenarios and situations where they're e they even make it to the finish line, theoretically, the next checkpoint, we'll call it a checkpoint, where they have breached monetization status and they are in, accepted into the YouTube partner program and they can begin to produce revenue and then they walk away and they quit. That one is perplexing to me. I, that one's a tough one for me to wrap my mind around, but I've seen it happen more than once on multiple occasions. So again, uh, you know, um, it's just like anything else, you know, you know, there's schools out there that, that are going to teach people how to do things. There's, uh, trainers out there that are going to teach people how to do things. There are companies and businesses out there that are going to teach people how to do things. And, you know, some people will sign up for it. Some people will take advantage of it. Some people will use it and, you know, build something for themselves and some people will pass or walk away or quit or give up and others will then take what they've learned and move on and build something even bigger and better and greater than what they even began to you know what they signed up for now that that's a that's a rare occasion but it happens you know for instance the uh how how the automotive car maker lucid came about was from uh an ex uh engineer i believe that used to work for tesla i mean it can happen so um either way with that being said that's the story i wanted to bring to you guys today that's the story i wanted to tell you and if you're interested in learning how you can do the same uh then by all means feel free reach out and hit me up